Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what? You know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. Most exciting man in boxing. Man in boxing, led the flare cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Woo! Yo, this is Deontay the Bronx from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellas Sports TV. Bomb squad, baby. Hey, Carrera, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfellas de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, Carrera. Animo. Shout out to Goodfella TV. Tiger Johnson from Thinking Ohio 140. And you watching Goodfella TV. Today, we're back. We're back. I got a big old pimple on my head. I don't know how this pimple got here, but it's here. Whatever. But uh, appreciate y'all for tapping in, supporting the channel. I was watching the Iowa and LSU game with the way my setup is. I can't see the TV. And I ain't got my second monitor working yet. So. If I just found the score on the screen, but yeah, real, real quick, we're gonna be speaking about what are we talking about today? Uh, Fondora, uh, Zoo seem like they're gonna rematch Earl Sexuals, justified, uh, you know, jumping Crawford for a title shot. We're gonna speak on all that. It's funny when Crawford and uh, when Crawford chose to uh, you know, use the super WBA title status. A oh, low audio. Hold on. Low audio. Give me a minute. Hold on. All right. We hold on. Let me know if I'm better now. Yeah, let me know if it's better now. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, let me know. Let me know if it's better. Botex in the chat before I continue on. Let me know if the audio better. Um <clears throat> Yeah, hold on. Let me know if the audio better. I just was cooking. This shit in here is bacon. Oh, I bet, bet, bet. I had to restart the mixer. Um, yeah, I didn't even do half the shit I'm supposed to. Been a busy ass day per usual. Um, you know, who I ain't fresh. I need that sound clip. I ain't fresh. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, man, we're gonna speak on that shit real quick, man. Um yeah, we're gonna speak on that real quick. Don't forget you can uh watch on uh live on Kick, Twitch, YouTube, Goodfella TV, all this on Goodfella TV, Kick, Twitch. Uh, what else we all X, Facebook. Shout out to everybody watching, watching there, man. Appreciate y'all. Down the Monko. Uh I ain't do a full setup, you know. Miles, Miles being a baby, he had to walk. Uh, and I'm in here baking. Turn that oven on, nigga in here cooking. I feel like, I feel like the chicken that I just ate. I'm out here baking, but you hit the link tree, the link tree in the description uh, on your screen. You can find me everywhere there, man. But uh, let's let's get this shit going tonight, man. Let's get it going. Smart. You know what I'm saying? My health is important. My health is more important than money. They can take all the money. My health is more important. I, I, I'm scared. I'm a coward. Well, guess what? I'm a rich, scared and coward. I'm a rich coward. You heard him. You're a rich, scared coward. I do this for us, baby. I do this for that culture that they talk about. I do this for the culture that they hate on. Hey, I'm, it's time. Sunshine when tanks gone. Only dark times for you. Ain't no sunshine when tanks gone. And Leonard Ella B. Why are you always talking about me? Let me let everybody know we live, man. I'll give y'all something to watch real quick. Give me a minute. I don't know if they have a picture of what's going on. That's the text to give. Uh, you can write a check. You can put cash in. Some people even put gambling chips in the offering plate. I'm not kidding. Because it's really giving not only to his church, it's giving to the Lord. So, Dr. Lynn, would you be a scripture on your heart? Whatever's in your heart, because you're my, you're my mentor. Do whatever you want. The Lord shared with me the word stewardship. You know, Paul the Apostle thought very highly of stewardship. Stewardship of his calling and ministry. Let's pray. Let's believe God that our vision will even expand and extend and do more effectively than ever before. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for the privilege of being part of this great work right here at ICLV. And the buckets are going to go around the aisles. Go ahead and give us the Lord leads your heart. Thank you. 
All right, all right. Don't forget to support the channel. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And financially support the channel. Get the link tree in the link right on your screen, or you get the link tree. You can hit the cash app. Dollar sign CJ Good three one three Venmo CJ Good three one three. PayPal link in the description. Support the channel. You see Trump support the channel. Listen to my African Americans. All my African Americans. You know what I'm saying? I do this for us, baby. I do this for that culture that they talk about. I do this for the culture that they hate on. Hey, I'm, it's time. You heard Charlo. Do it for the culture. Do it on the culture that they hate on. But all right. Now Sebastian Fine door, because I ain't wasting no time. I'm probably staying on about an hour, maybe even less. All right, now Sebastian Fine door, promoter, want to act in good faith after talking a bunch of bullshit. When Bud was about to get that title shot and it looked bad for him to drop that WBL BL belt. Now them niggas talking about, oh, you know, uh, uh, you know, I, I we want to be, we, I, I go by my word. My word was to uh give Fondor, uh, give Tim Zoo a rematch. These niggas so full of shit. If I'm Bud, you know what I'm saying? If I'm Bud. If I'm Bud, I'm still stripping them niggas. Nah, fuck that rematch. I'm still stripping them. No Diddy. No Diddy, like that's. I'm still stripping them. I want my belt. I'm still stripping six foot six Fondora ass naked. Boys, nigga. I want my belt. And I think if Bud, I think what Bud was gonna do if he was smart was go ask the WBC to to force that mandatory too. These niggas fight once or twice a year. It shouldn't be no rematch clause for real. Tim Zoo ain't defended that belt. Has he defended the belt once? How the fuck you get a rematch clause and you ain't defending the belt once? Nah, that ain't it, y'all. Think about that for a minute. He has not defended the belt not one time. If my memory wrong, let me know. He has not defended the belt one time. How you got a rematch clause? Come on, man. How you got a rematch clause? You ain't defend the belt one time. Not uno. Come on, man. Tell, tell me I ain't tripping, bro. He ain't defended the belt one time, compadres. He has not defended the belt one time. How do you have a rematch clause based on what? And then what I what I originally read, which I got a video I've uploaded on Sunday, is they said the rematch originally had to be in Australia. It was like, oh, you know, but he got a way to fight before we do a rematch, and you know, we ain't going to no 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 Australia. What the fuck we got a rematch clause in there for then? Because if I didn't get my rematch and it was an immediate rematch, you know what I'm doing. I'm suing everybody involved, sanctioning bell bodies. Al, I'm suing all them niggas, man. Ain't shit moving. Ain't shit moving under my under my under my watch. Ain't shit moving. Hell no, nah, ain't shit moving. We ain't we ain't playing them games. These niggas shiesty. Now that Bud, you know, uh, 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 elected to go for the mandatory. Now they want to start speaking Spanglo and shit. You know what? Uh, you know, uh, uh, we we going to respect the rematch. No, respect these nuts, nigga. No diddy, like that's. Come on, man, get out of here, man. These, these 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 dudes need to be exiled from the sport of boxing. And who really looked like he got the eight ass face was Errol Spence. Dumbass nigga ain't showed his face since getting his ass beat. Now this nigga want to jump in like ain't nothing happened. Man. Come on, get him out of here. Get move him out of here. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. But Sebastian Fondor promoter Samson Lewiski uh, has declared that their first priority is to rematch Tim Zoo next. That's not what they were saying after the fight. Come on, man. The head of the fight versus Terrence Crawford or Earl Spence. Quote, we are we're so also eager to make eager to make this fight that many of our agreements were made verbally. There wasn't enough time, but I, I wish to make it clear that Team Fondora will honor the agreement. Oh, so it was a verbal agreement. Man, what nigga honor a verbal agreement? Uh, come be real. Who honor a verbal agreement? Most of you niggas verbally agree to bet money that you niggas never pay out. These are, we had a, ver now you want to honor the, man, these niggas full of shit, dog. These niggas is full of motherfucking shit. <laughs> We 
what that nigga Rizzo say? Strip you of your jewels. He said, strip you of your jewels, nigga. Come on, man. Strip you of your clothes, nigga. Run your jewels. Man, fuck that. Run that belt. Run that belt. We don't care about what handshake agreement you got. Let me go to my balls and my way. You sleazy mother. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. He was, he a, was fat, a fat phase on liar. liar. Get out of here. We got a verbal agreement. You know, I'm a man of my word. You know, all I got is my balls and my word. Get the fuck out of here. These grease ball ass, sleaze ball ass niggas, man. He said there wasn't enough time, but so it wasn't enough time to put some shit in writing. You had 12 days to put some shit in writing. It wasn't enough time. Seven whole days. Not a word about you. <laughs> I can't sleep. I can't. Man, I need a bitch to be like that over me for real, nigga. Shit. <laughs> this is a sick negro <laughs> young niggas like what song is that <laughs> my words is uh, I still fuck shit out of Tony Braxton you know Birdman don't like girls <laughs> <laughs> but I, they gonna come for Birdman next surviving Birdman but I wish to make it clear that Team Fondor were out of the agreement. My word is always equal to a signed contract. Tim Zuyo, rematch is ready when you are. I mean, when you are, man, get out of here, bruh. Bruh. Y'all, man, come on, man. But go get your belt. Go get your belt. Don't fuck around with these sleaze balls. Now, all oh, many of our agreements were verbal, and we didn't get, man, this some nigga shit, bruh. This how niggas handle business. This got, this got not black people. This got niggas written all, all, all nigga business. Handshake agreements, Don King bullshit. This how y'all get down in Ohio, Marcus, bro, from Ohio's run boxing. This how y'all get down. Get your hand out of my pocket. Get your hand out of my pocket, nigga. <laughs> oh, man, Ohio got two of the sleaziest motherfuckers ever to grace the motherfucking promotional uh <laughs> stage, man. Don King and Al Heyman. I don't know. They might not be sleazier than Bob Arum, though. You see, you up here cooning. Show is nigga shit. Y'all niggas be throwing that bread at them coon ass niggas. The Hodges twins, they, them motherfuckers retired off you niggas. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start pandering to these hoes and really get this real money on YouTube. Start Derek Jackson's and shit. Make all every bitch I fuck with sign a non disclosure agreement, even when I do cheat. My nigga Black Kemp to say, I cheat on my bitch because I don't need you, ho. <laughs> <laughs> She. Oh man, that nigga's hilarious. He said, "Bro, I think the rematch don't happen unless somehow Bud step aside. Samson cooked himself. Bud, ace man, they gonna drop that belt. They already said they was gonna drop that belt. Nigga said, drop them draws, nigga. Like Meek no did. Like that's <laughs> Meek was getting pound going to pound town. I'm like, oh, I'm deleting all this shit. They said they got the tape too." So the federal authorities got the tape. Oh, and they show that shit. They show Young Thug, you know, tape. You niggas still talking about he ain't on the uh, alternative community. They had this video and tape. Oh, man, y'all y'all niggas be in denial, bro. You got niggas in Duke painting their fingernails and shit, man. Dude, the community is dead. Y'all trying to save niggas, man. You can't save niggas, man. Can't save them. You waste your time. The, uh, the uh, Nation of Islam, the niggas wasting their time. Just worry about the brothers that's in y'all motherfucking covenant or that's in y'all thing. You can't say these niggas. They too far gone, bro. And then Duke won the game before they just got bounced. Biggity bounce, bounce, slide to the, you know, them niggas in there, you know, dancing and twerking in the motherfucking uh, after the game. And shit, I'm like, that's why I don't watch college basketball now. Angel Reese got bigger balls than niggas at Duke. He said they're going to toss WBA, hope to overlook Fondora Duck, and then Earl got cooked. Earl not going to make it to that fight. Bitch mouth going to fall out again. Mad Dog, a salute. Ah, I put a link in there. Give me a minute. Let me get in a groove. I want to groove with you. Neutral Natural salute, bro. Q Hamilton, what it do? He said they didn't even get the rematch clause right, so they basically put... Yeah, we're we going to be man of our words. Since if Terrence Crawford never was like, like, well, you know what, dude? I don't even want to fuck with uh, Pondura. I'm going to go, you know, jump up and fight Jenny Big or some shit, right? Them niggas would not be honoring that rematch clause, man. Tell me I'm wrong. What is he talking about? Now, why would he say that? Them niggas ain't honor no verbal agreement. Talking about many of our agreements were verbal. Like, fuck out of here. 
but we're gonna be a man of our word now that they ordered this fight and hopefully they give us the man that mean bud ain't gonna get his title shot till 2025 run that belt don't nobody care about fine door fine doing in two that shit don't even sound like it go together. And somebody on PBC side told me that they was very happy with the pay-per-view numbers. I told him, I don't believe that shit. <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna hold my bird. I don't believe that shit. That's my pleasure. But if they did good numbers, hey, only they pockets know. I ain't trying to pocket watch. They do good numbers, man. Shout out to them. <laughs> Come on, shout out to them. They did good numbers. Come on. Uh, he acted like he has all the AJ pool in every AJ fight. Eddie Hearn gives him a rematch. Yeah, we mod it up right now. He said, uh, WBO, the fool made the right call. Charlo dragged the belt for years, forcing him to be stripped. And now Fondura wants to hold on and pick and choose his opponents. Time to work there for that mandatory. Yeah, and then for years, the W, the PBC didn't even acknowledge the W, the WBO exists. Come on, man. Let's, come on, let's keep it funky, man. Good job, Alan. Now they stop acting like a sanctioned belt body exists, and then they he paid a nigga to drop the WBO. He paid allegedly Peter Quillen 500k to drop the WBO. Next thing you know, Peter Quillen come back and say, "I'm glad my wife still got a job." Yo, Jesus Christ, but Jessica, what it do? What you drinking in that cup though? What's in that cup? I guarantee you it's tequila. I guarantee you it's a tequila. What y'all think in her cup on her picture, man? I'm saying it's tequila. I, I hang around a lot of women. I'm saying it's tequila. And I could be wrong. Neutral natural. I mean, Tyson Fury had a bad cut, but he still found a way to beat Wileen. 40 sticks from a punch. Nobody worked. Uh, well, he, you know, a lot of niggas felt like he lost that fight, but you know what? He did find a way. He said a rematch is verbal agreement. It's not in the contract, so they knew that's why Earl got in the ring. Yup, yup, that's why Earl got in that ring. Now, Earl, like, what that mean? Now, what they going to do is, in my Dr. Umar voice, they set up Dr. Umar. That shit was so funny. That 2K streamer set that nigga up, man. Me and Kobe and Tom was laughing like a motherfucker, man. But what they going to do is, my brother, the fifth son from Pluto to the left right of Omni-Man, Invincible, my brother, <laughs> X-Men 97, Superman Golden Freezer, my brother, what they about to do my brothers and good sisters, what are they about to do? I'm going to say it again. What they about to do is make Zoo and Fondor rematch. Then Tim Zoo, my brother, is magically going to get hurt. Or Earl is going to be the replacement opponent. Did you, brothers and sisters, hear me? Hit the cash app for the school. Hit the cash app for the school. Hit the cash app for the school. <laughs> Hit the cash out for the school. We building a boxing school. <laughs> Come on. This is the Marcus Gavi, Floyd Mayweather Jr., Malcolm X, Revolutionary Brother XYZ, FOI, Fruit of Islam, School of Pan Africanism Foundation, Black America. <laughs> This is a sick Negro. Oh, man. I'm, oh, man. This shit is... Verbal agreements never work at all. Oh, we couldn't get it right. And so, you know, we... We, <laughs> we hood We handshake on there. Man, you better not trust the white man. What did he say in Pocahontas? I got to get that sound clip. The white man is dangerous. <laughs> to this day. I had to tell somebody, man, this old dude, he got dogs and shit. I said, you ain't never seen Pocahontas when he said the white man is dangerous. Y'all niggas ain't never seen that part. I know it's for old shit. Back when they Disney had the dope-ass VHS cases. Fondora team trying to finesse Bud out of position. Fondora going to vacate or Bud or fight Bud in the end. Yep, I ain't waiting around. Unless they're going to give me the Israel Matamor fight for the WBA and pay me handsomely. I think that's the motherfucker that knocked Fondora out in the sparring. It's either him or the other Russian. Easy, what's going on? Easy, a miracle, my creation. Easy, e up and stay typed up in the face and a little bit of what you know. Can I smooth like a criminal? I mean, subliminal. What's up, Misa? It's hard to easy, man. Rest the power of that, brother. Samson spent most of his boxing voice interview trying to convince people Crawford doesn't sell. It's entertaining and he's greedy, but it should just take step aside. Man, I take step. Hell no. See, y'all want the nigga to sign to a promoter to, to, to a company that continues to try to devalue him 
and slander him. Come on, why would I? Why would I? Why would I marry a bitch that hate me? Now some of y'all niggas do that shit. Hey, I don't know what it is. I like a mean bitch too, especially if they light skinned. Mean and dark don't go together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little ignorant. I'm sorry. I'm just telling y'all the real. Little mean light skinned chick. I don't know how little little I little you know. I had a little flirtation with that. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Come on, I'm toxic. <laughs> what BFB the Pac Man say? I'm toxic. He said, Told Samson was a weak. Yeah, I believe that. Remember Al Heyman Dolomite uh, sold the David Benavidez as the top rank behind his back? Hey, if you don't believe me, I'll pull up the article. Fotex Samson said, Upon Doris the Ace. Man, don't nobody know the fuck Fondora is, man. Come on, man. Who know who Fondora is, man? Get out of here. It's like going to heaven and finding God smoking crack. Man, Fondora ain't never put 5,000 seats in the stadium as the main event, bro. Do anybody remember how Luis Ortiz had a verbal agreement with Eddie Hearn to fight Anthony Joshua versus Vladimir Klitschko winner and never had? Well, he popped hot. He popped hot. So that was his fault. He popped hot. No, Jermaine Foles. It's always Jermaine Foles. He popped hot. Dre, what's going on, bro? Hey, Dre, I got something to say. Damn, that shit was dope. LSU and Angel Reese lose. I'll fuck the shit out of Angel Reese. I ain't gonna cap. And number 24 for Iowa, she can get the dilly 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 too. Kobe gonna be like, you milk drinker. Like, man, get the fuck out of here. Let's not talk about how you was drinking nine lactose milk, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Oh, yeah, they down six right now. Caitlin Clark was hooping, though. No cap. She she hooping. Yeah, I ain't mad at it. I'm going for the sisters, though, but shit, I ain't mad at it. 27K. He said, uh, Drizzy say Crawford could have been retired by now if he was fighting twice a year. Yeah, man. If they fighting on some, uh, on some, on some, uh, 90 shit, this nigga would have 60 fights. He'd been done. Canelo probably be at 100. Now, orange juice, little bro. Orange juice. I'm not drinking no orange juice and no straw, no cup like that, bro. She ain't drinking no orange juice. She getting litty. Nobody drinking no orange juice like that. I heard picture. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's orange juice mixed with tequila. Guaranteed. I would not be surprised if Keith Thurman fights Earl Spence. Yeah, me neither. Nick, uh, the, uh, the loser should retire. Banish like Prince Zuko. <laughs> Don't come back to you, catch the avatar, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> How we not having Michael Blackson on the soundboard? It's one ugly motherfucker though. If he can get two or three girlfriends at once, what is what is we doing out here wrong? What are we doing wrong out here? <laughs> Fotex, you know what's good thing about the Mando being called is that it can go to purse bit. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Drop the belt. Umar still hasn't built that school. Man, the, the Marcus Garvey, Floyd Mayweather, Malcolm X. <laughs> Academy of Sugar Brad Robinson, it will be built <laughs> off the packs of the people, off the dollars of the people. I remember that from Pokemon. Hey, niggas don't remember that shit, D. I'm like, hey, niggas, the white man is dangerous. <laughs> they probably cut that shit out. They put it on Disney today. They gonna cut that part out. <laughs> what is with Bug going into a new division of champions uh, shaking in their underwear, man? Hey, man. Al Hammond gonna box him out and then try to sign him. Come on, man. Nigga still screaming, oh, fight boots, fight boots, fight. Fuck, I'm fighting that nigga for. He ain't even the main event. Come on, man. He ain't even the main event. Why am I fighting boots? He turned down the fight twice. <laughs> fight boots, fight boots, fight boots, fight. And I knock him out, then what I get? I already been an undisputed champion. Come on, man. Give me the big six foot six, you know, sloop footed nigga. Tell the Serena Williams with her color is that, hey, man, she married white zaddy. I'm happy for her, man. Shit. I'm happy for her. Hey, man. Hey, that's who you want to be with. I ain't knocking none of you niggas, man. Go swirl. Go divest. Go travel the board. Hey, man. Hey, I'm happy for you niggas, man. I'm happy for the sisters, too. I'm happy for y'all. Go on. Get, if, if white zaddy bust them cheeks down the right way, go ahead. I ain't tripping. You know, I ain't tripping shit. Happy for her, man. I ain't have ain't no nobody preferences. Shit, the black community needs some we need to mix it up because you because it's oh my Jesus, man. Let me just not. Nah, this ain't even the play time and place. It's not the time and place. He said find only way out of the bud fight unifies the W. Man, that nigga dropping the belt. 
unless they're going to pay Bud or give Bud the WBA fight. Bud needs to give, get the WC to enforce Bud versus Fondora, too. Uh, Al Heyman looking for the Great White Hope fight for PBC. He said they claim that Fondora can't fight Bud because he won't be ready till November. To November, well, drop the belt. That Tim Zoo rematch is gonna be happening before the end. Fuck out of here. He won't be ready for November. Yeah, okay. Salute, bro. He said, Don't take step aside money. Say so he only took step aside money and he moved back home with his mother. Damn. Still ain't got the key thermal fight. Who stole the money from the black people? Dr. Umar Boss Watkins or Black Lives Black Lives Matter for sure. I can't speak on Dr. Moist Watkins. I'm moist. I'm moist. Oh, I'm God, moist. How that song go? <laughs> that nigga's moist, man. Don't listen to that nigga, man. I never steer you niggas in the wrong direction like him. Don't listen to that nigga, man. Don't take care of nobody else's kids for real, man. Unless you got kids, man. Don't be that nigga, man. Don't take don't take no, don't take no hat, no hand-me-downs. Been there, done that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it unless you got kids, and I understand. Don't do it. Don't do it. Listen to me. You get shit out of it. You don't get no little coochie out of it. You don't get no loyalty from the kids out of it. You don't get shit. You might get some tax money. Man, that's shit. Water. The money you're going to spend, that's water in the bridge, man. If you're a woman, man, save your body until you find your somebody and have kids with her. Trust me. Fuck that. That's for the birds. That's for the birds. That's for the birds, man. If you young niggas out here, man, get your money together. Get your money right. Stack your money. Don't worry about the fun you missing then. Trust me, your 30s, you're going to have money and fun. Keep your health together. Get your bag up. You know what I'm saying? Stack that bread. Don't have no kids. You know what I'm saying? Pull out with the rubber if you must fornicate. Um, and then, you know, then, you know, then you worry about getting you a young Tatiana and starting your fam family and shit, man. You ain't missing shit at the club, spending twenty, thirty dollars, and bitches ain't shit in the club. You know what I'm saying? You ain't trust me. You ain't missing nothing but STDs, STIs, and potential baby motherfucking mamas. Come on, man. Swarful God and two white men. Wait, what? You need to stop. Trying to tell y'all, man. Listen to me. Don't, don't. I'm telling you, being able to pick up and travel and move and not check in with a baby mama ain't gonna do nothing but weaponize the kid against you. Especially if your baby mama don't fear your ass. If she don't fear your ass, oh man, they fear what Glocktavia is gonna do. That nigga ain't stable. They don't. They think you a bitch, snitch. Oh man, she man. You saw Paco challenging Bud and uh, Virgil. I seen that. I'm gonna speak on that tomorrow. I ain't even cut the video for that. But at the end of the day, they already like duck Bud twice. So what's the point? Oh, let me put a uh, link in the chat in the Discord. They already duck Bud twice. Virgil Ortiz fighting Thomas Delorme. Bud knocked Delorme out like 10 years ago. Why Car well, Carlos Abreu knocked out Delorme like 12 or 13 years ago? That nigga was driving Uber when he signed the PBC. That should let you know everything you need to know. That nigga was a, the peak in the pocket lot. Pocket like it hot. Pocket, come on, man. Y'all support the channel. Thumbs up the video. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh. Oscar was copping about Williams and Payton. Bob Arum. I we tried to make uh, Shakur Stevenson and Williams and Payton. Oscar De La Hoya is a bitch, and he's a I can't say the f word, but you know he doesn't want to make the fight. Shakur Stevenson is the best fighter in the world. Come on, get him out of here. Get, 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 get move him out of here. Come on, man. These niggas ain't trying to fight, man. These niggas ain't cat. Floyd and Oscar Ben, I wouldn't be surprised if Oscar Ben Floyd over neither, nigga. Come on, man. No diddy, like. That's Come on, man. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. You know what Al Heyman like. <laughs> Poor as nigga. Oh, Floyd, you want this tax money? <laughs> no diddy, like. That's Get in a meek position, nigga. <laughs> We can't call it dreams and nightmares no more. We just got to call that shit nightmares. <laughs> Nightmare on Diddy Street. <laughs> no Diddy, like. That's oh, man. I got to cancel all that video. Come. I got to cancel all my meek music, man. Dreams worth more than nightmares, championships. Oh, my goodness. Jesus, Elizabeth, this is the big one. I'm young and I'm getting it. Tupac, all that shit go, man. 
Rick Ross pimped out Meek to uh pimped out Meek to motherfucking Diddy, man. Oh my goodness. I hope I'm a fat phase on liar. I hope that's not true. He was a fat phase on liar. I'm from everywhere, baby. Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, uptown, downtown. Oh, yeah, you from everywhere. Switzerland. Shit is nasty work out here today, man. Hollywood. At least, at least we just tear down the Hollywood half and we get some niggas with some real talent up in here, man. At least you ain't got to touch your toes to get a deal no more. Sexy Red, trash. 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 You got to be kidding me. Who let this hoe on the scene? <laughs> She probably be cool to hang out with. Shit. <laughs> but yeah, man, you know, Earl thought he was about to jump back in there. Earl thought he was about to jump in there. I'm about five pound door and get knocked out and get one last payday. No, sir, Bob. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. So at the end of the day, where does Lee Earl Spence, man? Oh, man. Who that who? Everybody move to the back of the bus. Come on, man. That nigga at the back of the bus now. So he thought he might, he might go out there and fight Israel Matamov for the WBO. They might position Bud to get the WBA, I mean, for uh, versus Israel Matamov. That that might be who he might get the WBA from. Maybe he go into that fight, but ain't no money in that fight. So all of a sudden they want to they want to say, "Well, we got agreement and we going to fight a rematch versus Tim Zoo. Give me that WBC belt and then y'all go do what y'all go do." Now, if Errol Spence want a rematch for the 154 pound WBO belt, let's do it. But no, nah, this nigga tried to sneak in the back door. He tried to get in the ring and shit. Niggas didn't even see him walk in the ring, bro. Yeah, you know, I used to be, I'm the big dog. Last time we seen this big dog get broke down like a U-Haul box. We seen you, you seen your mama. My baby! That bitch came from the rafters to come to her see her baby. My baby! <laughs> man, your locker room was sad in the motherfucker, man. It was like when Iron Man got killed off in the end game. That nigga was just sitting there. His son didn't even want to dap that nigga up. He didn't want to go be in there with Crawford kids and shit. I want to get dapped by Terrence Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man, they were trying to sit there. Oh, stay up, EJ. Stay up, Kane. <laughs> stay up, Kane. <laughs> man, Yellow Belly was mad as hell. He had to pay Shakur Stevenson. You know what I'm saying? Man, only thing I regret was the, the referee, man. The referee got to stop stepping in saving these PBC niggas, man. That nigga say that nigga say Roly from Paw Paw. Say Roly from Cruz. Nah, when you talk all that shit, man, the referee shouldn't stop you from your destiny. That nigga was going to knock that motherfucker arrow spins right in motherfucking Charlo lap. Next thing you know, Charlo started crying and shit. That nigga ran off like a bitch and won't, didn't want to fight. Did all that yapping. We knew he wasn't shit when Jerry Hurd popped him in his mouth. And he ain't do shit. Popped him right in his damn mouth. Them nigga, man, these niggas is Texas immigrants. Put them niggas on the other side of the Texas border. These niggas ain't Texas boys. They ain't coming down to no candy toys. It's talking noise. Ah, them ain't them Texas. But these niggas from New York. They from Long Island. They from Long Island. Them niggas from Long Island. And they from Louisiana. Lafayette, Louisiana. Stop letting these niggas claim Texas, bro. Stop letting these niggas claim Texas. These are not the Texas boys that motherfucking Pimp C was talking about. This ain't yeah. Slim Fuller wrapped in faux foes, tipping on some hoes. No, this, this is not that. Yeah. Yo, yo, you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. These I are mean, Texas, what's up, what's up? these are immigrants. These are not Texas born motherfuckers, man. These are immigrants. Take yeah. that green car and move them out of Texas. Send them back to New York with Kobe and Henry. Send them back to Louisiana with Mr. Eat Right. Eat right guy. Come on. Boosie left Louisiana. They need the new king of Louisiana. Master P don't live there no more. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. These niggas shouldn't be able to get a haircut. They shouldn't be able to walk the yellow brick road. Ex extract them from Texas. I'm starting a petition. Get them the fuck up out of Texas. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Get them out of here.
Y'all see that dude that beat that dude in the gas station? So I'm from South Texas. I'm from South Texas. Yo, you ain't see that video? Hey, you ain't see the video where the big fella beat up the other dude? At the My bad, bro. No, no, no. I didn't catch it. Oh, nah. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the Discord. He's okay, out okay. He's out from South Dallas. Now, he ain't say South. That nigga say South Dallas. I say South Dallas. We're, I don't know that community. Man, yeah. the nigga got beat up and shit. You know, uh, that nigga got the stumbling. His wife was crying and shit. I said, oh, that bitch don't respect him no more. It's over with. Yeah. I'm going to call that South Dallas, nigga. <laughs> Damn, that's it was a crazy. good old strap though, but old boy was looking to reach for the burner. He ain't have it though. He uh -huh. was reaching for that fucking dog. That's one of them incidents when some shit like that happened to you, dog, and you wonder why you shot and killed the nigga. Man, it, it don't make no sense. Sometimes you got to take your L. Yeah. Sometimes, hey, if a nigga just put hands on you in this fair game, hey man, sometimes you just got to get out your emotion, shake his hand, and just keep it moving. But today, you got to remember that shit on camera. They got like ten different angles of him getting his ass whooped. <laughs> Damn. Literally, nigga, literally. They got like 10 different angles of him getting beat up at the gas station, bro. It's clear. It's 4K. <laughs> yeah, that's kids, crazy. Kids don't know it's him. Like, that's what I said before. If you ain't got to fight, dog, do not fight. Right. One, one thing for a nigga to have a gun is another nigga is they got cameras at the gas station. They got cameras on the street lights. Niggas got 4K iPhone cameras. There's no point of fighting, bro. Yeah. No point. We too old to be fighting, bro. I know I'm by my thirties. I ain't be fighting with all these niggas, man. <laughs> yeah, now that you guys, go, hey, my bitch want to go with you, hey man. She more than welcome, bro. I ain't fighting over no bitch, man. Nah, for real, yeah, ain't no point. Yeah, I ain't fighting over no no. Uh, what you said on the internet, or you know, uh, you hit my dunk, man. Call my insurance, nigga. Here, <laughs> not the meat position. Yeah, that was that was that was that was wild. That was a wild. Oh no, Ooh, yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> Man, that sound like me. I heard the audio. That hurt my soul. That's one of my Ooh. favorite rappers, too. Yeah, that was a horrible audio. <laughs> oh, man. I, 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 ain't gonna hope, nigga, I, hope, I hope it was AI like a motherfucker, man. But he said, yeah. he, like, he, he said Diddy allegedly drugged him. I said, man. Hi, man. I heard it is what it is, man. And nigga, nigga, you got to answer what you do. He said, I got a poor catch. Would you let that uh, conjoined double head? Let no, I'm good. I, and then I don't even like midgets, bro. I don't I don't have I don't have a midget fetish. I don't have no two-headed nah. Nah, I don't have none of them fetishes like that, dude. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I don't even got threesome fetishes no more. I'm good on that shit. I've been there, done that. And I ain't got them fetishes no more neither, bro. I just want some regular ass. That's it. Yeah, Stop. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some head. For real. <laughs> Hey, you don't even gotta ask for head no more. They just giving head, nigga. That's the first thing you do. Drop. They just give. Remember you, man. Head used to be sacred. You used to have to be, you know, they fucked like two or three times. We go together for like sixty days and shit before they could suck your shit, man. <laughs> man. They give head off the rip, nah, dog. You ain't even gotta ask for it. Nah, for sure. Yeah, the first time a girl meets you, first thing she doing is, I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, shit. Yeah, man. Man. You just had the big <laughs> bitch like Jonesy. <laughs> Yeah. Man, dude, this is nasty work out here. These women is nasty work out here, man. Uh -huh. you know, I finally got her to suck my shit in high school. Nigga, like y'all been together since January. Nigga, it's June. We graduate. Like, oh man, <laughs> that used to be a sign of a, a badge of honor, nigga. Tripping over this. Yeah. That's my bitch, nigga. Oh God for that pussy. Oh, is that he said Drake always sex with. They probably paying that nigga, man. Support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good, 313. Appreciate y'all. Shout out to my boy, Vinny Ochoa. What it do? Uh, Hawk Mo say, Errol Spence talking about he is the big fish, nor more like the tuna fish, but it's Aquaman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah. I didn't even know uh, old boy came before Aquaman, though. Uh, what's the one on the other side? DC side? Namor? Yeah, yeah, he before Aquaman. Yeah. yeah before Aquaman and shit. Uh, Dolomite PBC should have led Tornado to uh, Crawford pass through the division, collect the belts after left the division. Crawford should be a three division weight division. Yeah, star. but they didn't want it. They they want to make it hard for no damn reason, and and that shit backfiring on them. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. shit, you know, you yeah. you reap what you reap what you sow. Mm hmm. Exactly. You know, but in the perfect world, Dolomite, that that would have been good. But I think he gonna get it anyway, low key. We can't get mad at Charlie. <laughs> You can't get mad for Charlo going to get that Canelo bag, though. But you can't oh, no. No, 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 I can't. Yeah, you can't get mad at that nigga for not trying, though. 
I yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't this. mad at the bad. I do this for that culture that they talk about. I do this for yeah. the culture that they hate on. Hey, I just feel I bad stop. because uh, you could tell, like, after that, I mean, they ain't giving him a chance. Every belt, they shook him with every belt. Yeah, he, he held that WBC belt for a long ass time. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. That's the yeah, worst yeah. John Jackson. He ain't really, he almost didn't win that belt. John Jackson beating the shit out that nigga. Yeah. Oh man! Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, he beat he just shit out Charlo. Then he just stopped punching. He got mm-hmm. If Charlo didn't have no chin, boy, that nigga had ten losses. Yeah, for real. If your guy had Charlo chin, that nigga be the best fighter ever. He said, "Charlo ever gonna fight again? You can't live off ten million mil. Man, he probably getting back in. He got ten million for his last fight versus uh Castanos." And he got ten million versus motherfucking uh uh, uh Canelo plus back in. Hell yeah, yeah he, he can live off that. And he he real smart with his money too. He ain't living like his yeah. brother compound or nothing. Like I heard him speak about Stephen Jackson about his investments and shit. That nigga invests his money, bro. Yeah, so that's good. He good. He made twenty million yeah. in two fights on top of whatever he already did made. No state taxes in Texas neither. Mm-hmm. That nigga ain't he ain't no dummy. I tell you that. No. He ain't no uh, forever G salute, bro. Yeah, yeah, he ain't no dummy. I was sending him a little interview he did. He said, Yeah, I got I invest my money. Hell yeah, nigga fucked around and probably walked away with about 15 million fucking with Canelo. He made yeah, 25, I'm paid. About 25 million in two fights. Mm-hmm. So I, shit. I ain't pocket watching, but shout out to that nigga. Hell yeah, fuck Bud. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah shit, Bud was the same shit. Nah. Well, like, yeah, well, what do you, yeah. what you be? Take the money. Hell no, you wouldn't Ooh, die to be the, the shit like that. Out of LS, they beating the shit out of LSU. I ain't see one black girl on Iowa neither. Ooh, Aunt Teresa. Ooh, that bitch. Man. Yeah, man. man they had, they were doing good. And then, like, the second half, half they just took over. He said, CJ, you need to go back and watch uh, Crazy Clark and Fabio UK Heavyweight from last. I heard about that. Yeah, I'll it was a pretty good watching. fight. Yeah, I don't be watching. I don't be watching the small boxing no more. Uh, he said, uh, Vim, some of the channel, Venom, CJ, good three and three. Mr. T, he just saved himself from a bounty. He said, The PBC Dolomite cheated us from watching Crawford get the Texas sweep, but spent some both Charlos. The PBC wasn't goofy, they could have made money off that. It's, it's, it, they, they got personal vendetta, they emotionally yeah. involved, in this, I guess, man. And it, it ain't just about money or business, they personally involved in this, shit. you know. He said, They lying on Diddy, some of that shit fake. Hey, look here, bro, it probably is. <laughs> How would I tell y'all when a conspiracy case come come? Why do when they got a conspiracy case, most of this shit is lies. I already broke that shit down. Most of it is lies. Yeah. Like they say take that shit to trial. He said, man. He said they got niggas in court tell, uh, telling on me that I ain't seen before. Yeah, I bought a quarter from him. Yeah, I bought a big from him. niggas telling on me that I ain't. That. That's a conspiracy case, bro. It's a bunch of niggas they get from the penitentiary and they say they lied. They lying on you to get out of trouble. Mm. Women gonna lie regardless. Women. It's gonna lie to get out of trouble regardless. That's what they're gonna do. That's why pimping don't make no sense. It's sex trafficking now. The women are gonna turn on you hundred percent and nobody's going to bat an eye. Yeah. You can That's bet true. you can take it to the bank. Travis Rudolph, uh that chick he was messing with, she got her, he got her two like who her one or two of her brothers got killed because she lied. It ain't nothing happened to her. That nigga lost his whole career over 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 some over over some ass. She lied on this man, and she was married. Come on, man. Oh, man. Oof, oh, man. that's crazy. You can't make this shit up, bro. You can't make this shit up, bro. So yeah, uh, a lot of that shit is is fake. But niggas gonna niggas that don't have no money gonna lie to save their ass who can't afford representation. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people believe a lot of that shit is real because he done did so many people dirty, bro. Name a nigga right. he did right by. Who he do right by? Who P- Lay on him? D Diddy. Who he did right oh, by? My, oh, P- <laughs> oh, shit. I ain't, you can't ask me shit. I ain't a rapper. I don't, only nigga I don't still know. hanging around him is Stevie J, bro. That's, that's the only nigga that's still really around. Finds where Billy ain't around. Come on. His kids? Who they your kids? Who wins this fight if all three fight against your back? Adam, Aquaman, Neymar. You asking him, you gonna have to ask Lion Killer. He know more than me. Yeah. I, I ain't that deep in the uh comics. He said Iowa starting center is black. Oh shout out to her. Yeah. 
<laughs> had to meet their quarter. <laughs> Shout out to Harry. He say, uh, yo, cats, hit the like button and bell out notification. Appreciate you in the super chat. That's my pleasure. My bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, come by after work. I got the John Blaze shit for you. So, man, what I know you probably covered a little bit of it. Hold on, hold on, real quick. I'm gonna read this last yeah, yeah. Chat. Henry said, I guess P. Diddy was assigned to PBC, otherwise, he could just call Al Hammond to get out of trouble. Oh, man, tell him to bring me <laughs> my money. Yeah! Come on, man. Yeah. Al, Hammond, Al Hammond probably was the one that blessed Diddy in this. shit <laughs> he, put him in the, he put him in the meek meal before he put me in the meek meal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, <laughs> that nigga running than me is going to be curtains, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he battled Drake today, man. If I'm Drake, I'll drop another meek diss track. I swear to God, I wouldn't. The first intro will be that sound. I swear to God. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Jeez, but don't forget, did he put uh Drizzy in the sling, his arm in the sling, but still in uh hundred bands? Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said he sent that beat to Drake and he stole it, so he put them hands and feet and foots on on Drake. Yeah, he, he lucky he ain't put the diddler on Drake ass. No diddy like that. <laughs> <laughs> that soundboard is crazy. Oh. Man, hey Drake probably would have liked that shit. No, man. Oh, I'm coming home. <laughs> oh, man. This is why this is nasty work, bro. Yeah. Oh man, Hollywood is wild, man. Puff told you niggas back in the nineties, I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Man. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, he said, take that, take that. What y'all thought he was talking about? What y'all thought he was talking about? Him, Quincy showed him how to snatch niggas' manhood. <laughs> oh, man. Michael ain't been the same since he hooked up with Quincy, man. Yeah. But man, you, you think this rematch gonna happen? Zoo and the, uh, Fandora? Or you already yeah, covered it's gonna that? It's gonna happen for the WBC. Shout out to Ranji in the Super Chat. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's probably gonna happen for the WBC, man. Shit, I mean, damn, that's gonna be weird. Okay, then Bud just petition and rematch was supposed to originally happen in Australia too, according to the article. Mm. But then they said they wasn't going going there. Then they wanted to fight between there. So, man, good loss. Earl Spence don't get no work. How about that? Yeah, and lucky not. <laughs> he was gonna get the, He was gonna fight for the WBC regardless, and he was gonna go try to get Canelo Alvarez. That nigga's good. Uh-huh. Get out there. That nigga is guilty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good for that nigga, man. I, I don't want to see him get no steak, no rice, no, no ribs, no nothing till I get my money, man. I get yeah, my I, money. I was here. Yeah, I was on town hey, live. What every day, B. Go ahead, man, we was. I me and him were talking about it. We was like that man. Airpod was two ten that night. Man, <laughs> nigga ain't been doing shit. Told me it's straight up. School. Two and a half. Get up. <laughs> I like. <laughs> That's he why I called him a linebacker. He just, he just a bitch ass nigga, man. No, nah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Bro. Yeah, yeah, I can't rock with him either, bro. It ain't people think oh, it's Hayes. Like, no, nah, that nigga oh, think man. he's too entitled for one, and the nigga think oh, everything is old to him. He ain't putting in no work. How you think you? Oh, I'm better. I'm, you know, so I'm the big fish. Like, nigga, you ain't do anything really. You in one division, you got three belts. That's cool. But Crawford did that three up. times over. Exactly. They all oh, was set up. Set up for you to win. And as soon as you went outside of Al Hayman plan, you got blessed. Right. Come on, bro. Like blessed. that nigga way too full of himself. And that nigga, yeah, like, I can see if you was about that shit. Shirts. Them right, right. Shirts, man. Fuck that like I can see if you, you know, say you, you know, a nigga in the hood, obviously they putting in work. Okay, you can see them flex. You can see why they cocky. This nigga ain't put in no work, but he want to talk all this stuff like he about that. I hate niggas like that. And, like, and, and what made what made me even worse is when that nigga when that nigga called him top ranked Toby, bro. I was like, oh man. Oh, he started that too, huh? He said the top ranked. He said that on the uh, okay. Day. He said I'm gonna break him like Toby. <laughs> oh yeah, man. That's crazy. He he tried to stop himself, but it was just too late, bro. With the fake teeth. What what happened to <laughs> I don't fear no man but God? Correction, God yeah. and the nigga that shot me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said I'ma break him like Kunta Kente. What did he say, Toby? He said one of the two. Yeah, yeah he said Kunta like Kente. Kente. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember man. that. I'm like, come on. <laughs> 
come on, man. Come on. He the real yeah. Bob Arum won't give him to me. And he on the wrong side. He ain't fight all yeah, that. Yeah, he shit. started that. Yeah, all he started that. 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 Yeah, yeah. All that shit they was perpetuating around. He started that shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. He started that shit. That's why that yeah. nigga on the floor right here get getting the sexy red. Get it sexy. Get it. <laughs> no, nah, straight up. Yeah, he did him oh, so dirty. He, bro. Nike, Nike should sue that nigga for wearing they socks, bro. For getting dropped like that. <laughs> Just do it, ass nigga, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Nike should sue that nigga, man, with that nigga Jerry curl turned into an Afro puff. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, Afro puff with my Afro stuff. Oh, rock on with your bad self. Come on, man. The referee should have let Bud finish that nigga, man. We wouldn't be talking about no fine door. Man, what school. was crazy? He was about to Steve Har uh Steve. I mean Harvey Doc knew, like, all right, bro. They, he he man, I ain't gonna lie, you about to, bro. You seen his hit man, man, what? Fuck that man. That third <laughs> man, listen, that third knockdown, it could end it right there, bro. The way he, he fell, bro. Been, that, hey, he carried Earl, bro. No, oh yeah, yeah I agree. Girl. Yeah, he, he definitely he did. He got too much compassion for that nigga, man. He had yeah, too bro. much. Compassion. I miss back when Mike Tyson was trying to kill a nigga, when Julio Cesar Chavez was in there trying to kill a nigga. I miss yeah. when niggas was killers, bro. No pun intended. I miss when niggas went out there for the kill. Mm -hmm. These niggas too friendly and they too cool. You know what I'm saying? Man, but what did it see? No yeah, yeah, I feel you, but that nigga Bud went in for it. Like, I think what it was, bro. He, 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 he knew. All right, I had him beat in the second round, so he was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna just keep punching this nigga till he quit." Cause you, I don't know, if you know, you you seen the Breakfast Club interview? He wanted Derry James to stop the fight. That's why he was like, "Yeah, hey, I yeah. thought they were gonna stop it." But they didn't, so he like he kept whooping him. But he wanted that he fight to be told stopped. That nigga not, he probably told that nigga not to stop it. Yep, you you know, because that's why he kept like, stopping under no, no 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 circumstances. His dad yeah. won't go stop it. His dad is a true Jamaican, so he's like, ah oh, no. Nah. Yeah, uh, but no, that nigga, but he if anybody killing this fucking today is him, and motherfucking better be. Better be like, the so. Boy, it better be was racist, man. Anthony R would have been a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga still had that original Russian in him. Right, <laughs> right. Ain't find Islam. Oh man. Him and Marcus Brown beat shit. Them niggas be dead. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, you know you he did. Them niggas be dead. Them niggas be dead. That's my that's that's my boy right there. Him and Bud and, and New UA. Oh man, I love yeah, me too. Killer Instinct. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, I player, agree. Basketball players don't got killer instinct no more neither. They all hoop with each other. They all family. Yeah, you right. I yeah. gonna have a pit bull fighting ring if they all the pit bulls cool with each other. Come on, man. Exactly, it's gonna be weird. That's uh -huh. what it is. Hey, you need to be banned. Right. Niggas need to stop seeing each other, dog. And just you know, everybody cool and hugging and kumbaya and shit, man. I missed the comment. Right, right. They know Bud will expose the whole roster. I mean, that whole roster, they ain't got shit left for real. No, I really don't. I really don't. Gary Russell trying to get back in the gym and punch the bag again. I'm like, oh, this man. Oh, man. Waste of a boxer. Canelo would knock the fake teeth out of Earl Smith Jr. mouth. I mean, yeah. Canelo said he still wanted to fight him. So, shit, it is what it is. Y'all niggas will buy it. Is it true the rematch agreement was verbal? Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, right yeah. there. He said, it was verbal. Mm -hmm. he said it was verbal, yeah. He said it was verbal. I got to highlight it. He said, laugh a lot, get it sexy, I'm dead. Yeah, that was the <laughs> He said, "No, not all. Y'all any questions?" What I you mean, bro? What you mean, not all of Brown? Who, who Crawford wouldn't beat up <laughs> over there at PBC? Cool, Wilder. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You probably gonna say Wilder. <laughs> oh, man. That's no <laughs> tough Wilder, nigga. Like, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, gotta bring a tough for that big ass nigga. Man. To this day, he said, "Bug carried him enough time to make it uh, pay per view worthy." How? Can we go back uh, into uh, time to relive the week starting? At New oh, York? yeah, that was crazy. Oh, that was, that was one I watched week. it on my oh. work when I was on break. I literally, I said, freak, I'm going to take break to watch this fight. I, yeah, I, I woke up early to watch that shit before I went to That break. shit was crazy. <laughs> the oh, way he man. put hands and feet on him, boy. I really wanted to pick Cool Boy. I watched the tape. I said, man, he can't fuck with this guy, bro. Yeah, it was crazy. I watched the tape, too. I'm like, yeah, I predict. I'm like, yeah, he going to stop him, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, the hand speed was just too different, though. That's what it wasn't so much the power, the athleticism was too different, bro. Yeah, it was, bro. Way faster than Fulton. 
And then they talking about folding and really train serious. Man, you out your rabbit ass. Nah. You fight a killer. You fight the killer. Was yeah, he was training fight. when they heard it. You know, nah, they they lying on that. He was that nigga was fighting a killer. Like y'all fighting a nigga doing that to niggas. Hey, I'm coming prepared. Mm-hmm. The nerve of Earl trying the nerve of Earl trying to jump the line. Yeah. Nigga trying to yeah. do the He said that fight was over in the third for real, man. But that nigga caught that nigga with that uppercut, man. I didn't even see the punch today replayed that shit slow. Yeah. That nigga knew what time was. That's why that nigga smoked the J before the fight, allegedly. That nigga was high. Allegedly. He was high before Sean Porter fight. Yeah, he did I, like it, huh? That's Sean Porter. I told y'all niggas, man. I know, man. I know when a nigga high, man. I told you a lot of my friends used to sell dope. Right, right. <laughs> I know, I know a crackhead. Little Joe Greg, <laughs> Greg <Matthews laughs> Craig, crackhead. I ain't saying mm-hmm. he was smoking crack, but that nigga was but, dope, bro. I know a bunch of my homies they used to play football. I used to smoke before the game. I couldn't function. Mm-hmm. I used to get high, I used to like go to sleep, bro. Yeah, yes, yeah. It react different people differently. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want to fuck. I don't want to play 2K. I, wanna, <laughs> I used to tell them niggas, man, finish our 2K game, lock the door, man. I went up to the bed upstairs and go to sleep. Nah, like that, huh? Just like, yeah, oh, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was no smoker. I just started smoking in college, man. Like, bro. Yeah. I used to get comatose. Like, yeah, like nigga could have cleaned the whole crib, but I'm like, nigga, I wouldn't even know until I woke up. Hell yeah. yeah. Blow as hell, bro. Like, I, like, <laughs> I can't do this shit no more. I'm just like, you was, cause like it feel like 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 it feel like 80% of black women smoke weed now. Damn. That's what it feel like. Am I tripping? Yeah. Shit, you every probably not, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Every, every chick I meet smoke. Or not like they smoke heavy, or they just, you know, they just I guess smoke time for time. I know chicks that got master's degrees, bachelor degrees, whatever. They mm-hmm. smoke. I don't smoke. Yeah. That's how niggas be fucking the hoes, man. No, oh, I got the weed. Bitch, man, the weed, man, number one. He could be the ugliest nigga in the world. You getting ass. Right, right. Yo, yo chick got a weed, man, especially with dispensaries out. Man, she fucking that nigga, man. Especially <laughs> she ain't got no money, bro. I'm trying to put y'all on game. Yeah. Y'all stop on the not, but okay. Yeah, yeah, the weed, yeah. man, be getting all the ass. I could have been a weed, man, because I don't smoke. I probably been rich by now. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, I, don't smoke, oh, yeah. I don't even know how to roll the blunt. <laughs> yeah, I don't angle like, Yeah, yeah, I don't smoke either. I don't do that, but I'll be around people who do that or used to at least, like my cousins and shit. To me, it's a nasty habit, dog. Like that's a waste of money. And then niggas want to smoke like three blunts and it's three people. Like the fuck, I'm passing yeah. three blunts around. Like, I was, I was, I was, I'll roll the windows up. Like, nigga, I'm about to die in this motherfucker, dog. Like, let me out. Yeah. <laughs> like get me out of here all oh, i couldn't do it no more i didn't even you to have to pay for this shit for real oh yeah you was that locked in huh yeah niggas niggas like you know it's good shit too like sour diesel motherfucking uh, og kush now what's smoke regular weed gave me a headache so i didn't smoke it yeah whatever reason regular weed gave me a headache so i, I didn't couldn't smoke that shit like Ciroc gave me a headache. I'm the Diddy probably did something to Ciroc. No Diddy, like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like gave me a headache. Like I couldn't yeah. smoke shit like that. So I had to smoke upper echelon type of weed and shit back in the day when that shit was out. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm not productive. When you can't when you can't when you can't get the cheeks and you just so tired that you can't get the cheeks, man, you need to tap out of that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. This niggas that be working out high, I'm like how. Right, I just can't function off that shit, bro. But I from running eleven for the body shot, maybe. You yeah, see, right. looks, it's crazy as fuck after the fight. Tim wasn't the man to rematch. Tim acting like he don't want to get back. That nigga probably couldn't believe what happened. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. He probably got that's yeah, exactly. He probably couldn't <laughs> believe that. Man, so what's crazy, bro? Was uh, I put a couple of shorts on my other channel and yeah, man. Uh, Stitch Duran said yeah, they should have stopped that fight in the fourth or. Yeah, fourth going well, into Tim's, the fourth. Tim, yeah, Tim's yeah, yeah, yeah. Had the right to stop it, but then he probably like, guess what? He stopped it. He don't get the WBC. He got to redo it again. He probably was like, I can beat this nigga, man. Yeah, but it should have been stopped. That nigga lost a lot of blood in there, bro. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Then they ain't even had the right stuff in the corner to stop the blood. Yeah, he was stand- explaining that too. Stitch Duran. He was like, yeah, they failed him, bro. <laughs> Man, I love boxing. That's why your daddy probably should be in your corner. Man, I love boxing. Was there any Vonda tested for Vonda? I don't know. I said that from the beginning, bro. That's one of the reasons I picked Fondor. 
Now niggas be thinking I playing. Of course he smoked before the fight. Look how black his lips is. No diddy. Now no. Diddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hold on. No diddy like. That's- oh man, I'm like man. Hey, I just see so many niggas addicted to that shit. I just stopped cold turkey. I was like fuck that man. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I just stopped smoking. Like, nah, I'm like, this shit ain't for me. I smoked for like a month, two months. I'm like, this shit ain't for me, bro. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did taste better though, hot than the motherfucker though, boy. I remember my mama yeah. took my mama and her husband took me mm-hmm. and my friend out there. We was hot in a motherfucker. We went to this Greek restaurant downtown in Greek town. I forget what it's called. It's called something. Man, nigga, we were so blowed at the table, dog. That shit was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. like, I got to stop smoking, dog. I swear to God, I told myself after that day, I said, man, this got to stop. I will, man, that food tastes good in the bitch, too. We ordered a whole bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's just on some fluke shit. Y'all want to get something to eat? We like, hell yeah. We down there blowed as hell. This one, Black Ops, one was out, nigga. Oh, man, I remember that. Man, I was young. We so- See, yeah, you could be older than me, but yeah, I played the hell out of Black Ops one. Bro, we used to come from the club and play, and we ain't get no girls to come to the club. We used to come home and play Black Ops all morning, bro. Mm-hmm. That's how hard that game was, nigga. Nigga, we yeah. used to come home, liquor. Man, even if we had the hoes, I'm just be playing Black Ops with us, dog. <laughs> yeah. He said the pick with Fondora. And it was, man, nigga, I look back on my 20s. I had some fun in that motherfucker. I wish I did some shit different, but I I came out that bitch without no kids. Yeah. I don't know, girls lately, like, I want a baby. Like, why? I'm like, oh, I don't fuck with you, no. I don't even want the ass, no. When they say that shit, it's an instant turnover. Why are you telling mm-hmm. me you want a baby? Go find Pookie and Ray Ray, nigga. Right, right. Yeah, you know, I want more kids. Like, oh, I don't, what, what do it look like me? Because I don't have no kids. I want to have kids with you. <laughs> and they always want to do it after y'all fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't let you bust a nut in there. <laughs> For real. Nah, that ain't it, yo. Oh, man. Oh, you know I'm not on the pill. <laughs> 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 oh. Man, after you told me the nut in you, nasty work. He said, You think water gonna be Zane? I don't know, bro. I don't know. He said, They drink heck. Oh, man. I, I finally met a chick that don't even drink, bro. Yeah, man. Now that's hard now. Now man, I'm, I, probably, I don't know. You, you <laughs> sound like you lying on that one. <laughs> I, swear, I swear to God, man. I swear to God. Who did he like? That's- yeah, man. I had to make her drink some Moscato. She just bought it because we, I didn't know she didn't drink. So we went to the bar. We were supposed to go bowling, but the shit was nigga fired. Yeah, she don't drink at all. That's just a that's just wild. But yeah, most of yeah. them drink more than niggas do. Oh, this one chick got me hella drunk. Man, Ooh. I bought Man. I don't know the name of this liquor I bought, uh-huh. but it was tequila. The next she sent me to the store to get the tequila. It was the Michigan National Championship game, right? I don't even know what type of tequila it was, bro. But if I get a picture of this shit, mm. it had it had like it was like a round bottle. This nigga out here snoring. Hold on. You good, you good. Hold on, let me see if I can pull this tequila. I don't even know what it was called. Yeah. This man, dog, told me <laughs> out the, told his <laughs> out the frame, told us. How about that? The frame. Out right, the right. Frame. I swear, <laughs> God, that shit, dog. She uh, said, "Don't you ever buy that shit again." See, I didn't buy it. It wasn't cheap. And I ain't buy, I bought it because he, I was looking, I was like, man, what about the new tequila you got? He reckoned, he said, this is really, really popular. Dog, when I say it told me out the frame, bro. Oh my goodness. She had videos of us doing shit. I'm like, yo, I did that last night. Yo. <laughs> yo no way. <laughs> oh, that bitch deleted the videos, bro. Yo. I'm like, <laughs> Oh, no way, CJ. Nasty what you do, work man? Out here, man? This is nasty work. <laughs> this is nasty work. Her kids was downstairs too. Oh my goodness. Stories I can tell you, niggas, man. Single mothers. Single mothers is fun as hell, especially when they got some bread. Yeah. I'm telling y'all, niggas, man. Oh, I found that shit. Swear to God. I just, man, dude. I found, I don't know what the, I found it. This mm-hmm. shit. I don't know if it's this exact brand. That's pull up, man. Oh, oh wow. Yo. That's alone. Yo, I don't, man. It's that shit. It's that. <laughs> That's my nemesis, bro. Mm. That, yo. I'm mad, dog, man. You got to make wow. sure you with a girl. You, you well, she got fouled out. Dang, Angel Reese got fouled out. I'm watching the game. Oh, let me see. 
Look here, if you drink that shit, make sure you with a girl you actually like. Right. Oh, that's over with anyway. They up eight. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, make sure you with a girl you actually like, nigga. <laughs> No that, diddy like that's, that shit, dog. She was like, she didn't even go to work the next morning. I'm like, I made it. <laughs> I, I don't even know how. Matter of fact, I think I, I, I think I had no. I went to work the next morning. I don't know how I made, or I had a doctor's appointment the next morning. Mm. Man, she tried to give me a spin the night. I'm like, man, I don't know. It's just your natural reflex sources as a man, like, yeah. Man, even, even like, even when they come over, they got to go. Mm-hmm. After they put out, they got to go. It, it, I don't know what it is, what it is, bro. Some some girls yeah. I let stay. It depends. I like to go around. Some some girls it depends. I, I let them stay. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's snowing outside, whatever. Or I enjoy like you know laying up with you. Then cool. Most girls gotta go. The average bitch gotta go. Sorry, right. well I gotta dip. I don't give a fuck if it's a snowstorm. It's just I don't be. I spent the night with one chick. It was cool. I just don't. Next thing I woke up. <laughs> She taking her hair out, her hair down and shit. I'm like, oh, let me get out of here. This bitch turned into a whole different. Oh, thing. man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah. yeah, that's a whole other story too. Women with yeah. makeup and different oh, she, shit. She, she ain't wear no makeup though, but I, mm. I give her that. These are yeah. all black women smoke. Yeah, oh, damn. Now we generalize it. Oh, wow. All the sisters smoke? Wow. Yeah, I wouldn't say y'all, oh, but. <laughs> He probably he probably right, bro. He, I mean, I ain't met one that don't. I ain't saying they smoke heavy, but most of them do. He said, "Yep, they got that Zaza for that ass, man." I, he said, two out of ten, eleven. Then was the de- oh man, I wish I could go back, man. Man, we used to be, ooh, I remember I used to meet a chick at the club. I used to go by myself. And I used to give it to my home, give the chick to my homie, bro. Right. He passing these hoes around, dog. Like, dog, you're hilarious, dog. Uh, he said, "Hit a fitness, then smoke two blunts with my girl and get some." Yeah, I can't. I can't work out and smoke. I can't smoke and function. None of that you doing. Yeah. Most of the sisters I know don't smoke weed. Oh, see, there we go, bro. There we go. Yeah, smoke yeah. Money. It depends, man. It depends. I live in Florida. He said, "I live in Florida." Yeah, they smoking in Florida, even though it ain't legal. Where you? Where you live at, Drizzy? Let's see if you respond before I get on. Where you stay at? But yeah, mostly. I mean, most of I don't smoke, so naturally, naturally. I'm gonna attract people that's the opposite that do smoke. Mm-hmm. So I drink. I, I can go without drinking. Even if a girl say, "Well, you know, I don't drink. I'm I'm safe and I'm cool. I, don't, I ain't got to drink." That shit, don't, that, don't shit, that don't shit really bother me. But but yeah, you know. But you know, some girls they like to drink and smoke. I be like, man, I ain't gonna lie. I was toasty you know, with old girl, bro. Oh my, I was man. We both was like, oh man. I hope she deleted that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounded that was oh, a crazy video. Crazy. <laughs> Nasty work that night. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, yo. Yeah. Yo, I'm like, yeah, it's nasty work out here. I'm like, yo, yeah. Now I ain't freaking that shit no more. Cause I already drink shit like that no more. I, I have like a long island. We drink a little uh-huh. bit. Yeah, I ain't like heavy on that shit, but but look, I tell you this, I ain't letting the bitch ride my face like a toilet seat, nigga, out here like some of you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, right, right. Oh, I ain't eat no ass. I'm going straight up. The oh, yeah. Head. I ain't doing that either. And I ain't letting no bitch eat mine either. Like, y'all niggas is weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. You ain't letting girls do it either. Oh, man. Y'all, I, mean, man. I agree. Was that you that said you don't kiss chicks no more? No, that was the other dude. I forgot his name. That was DJ. That was DJ. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. ain't lying. <laughs> y'all niggas out here eating ass. That's a violation. That's a vibe. <laughs> Someone call 911. Yeah, man. What's going on? What's on the D I don't know. I guess Drizzy dipped out. But hey, man, that's all I got, man. Appreciate y'all. LSU oh, lost. I almost bet two on that game. Glad I didn't. Uh, don't forget this to be on the podcast in the morning. Yeah, it's going to be on Amazon, it's Google Pod, or the Amazon. Google gone. So Amazon, uh, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, the rest of them. Shout out to everybody watching on Kick, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.